Hi everyone, Jai Mata Di. So let's see what all is there in the visionary package in sewage treatment plant section. So when I open the sewage treatment plant section, I go to sewage treatment plant theory, and I have got a complete system being explained theoretically out here. So the complete theory of the sewage treatment plant is explained. In which I'll explain what is TSS, what is BOD, that is biological oxygen demand, what is TSS, that is total suspended solids, what is COD, that is chemical oxygen demand. All these things. How does a sewage treatment plant work? What are the different chambers? What is their use? What is the use of air? What do we need to check? What is foaming? How do we can how just by analyzing we can see whether sewage treatment plant is working fine or not? Smell, color, everything is covered in this video. Now. Sewage treatment plant animation. See what happened was, I thought personally that the video that I have made, maybe if I put animation, the clarity will be much better, and that is how the animated thing. This complete video is complete animated animation out here, and whatever I am speaking in the hindsight or in the background is being explained in this video by the use of animation. So the animated videos over the animation is happening, and this video is made particularly. For those people who understand better with the animated videos, copied. Then the third is let's take a round of situation in plant in engineering. We'll see whatever Pranit sir has taught us in theory, whether we can relate that with practical or not. So this is how we go. But first of all, what I say is, but yeah, let's read the manual. Let's go through the manual and see. So this is just a copy of the manual or the printout I've taken out from manual. So that I can show it over here. What do we need to see from manual? Once again, I'm saying, guys, manuals should be your best friend on ship. Manual should be your best friend on ship. Coming ahead. So this is your sewage plant. This is your STP blower fitted over here. You can see okay, how does the blower work? The pressure gauge, the STP discharge pump, the UV sterilizer. How does the UV sterilizer work? Everything. The complete STP round. Has been taken and explained each and every part properly. Let's move ahead. Now, in this video, I explained the same STP thing, but in Hindi. So, for those people who understand, who love Hindi, the flair of Hindi, they would love to watch this video and understand the same thing again. Copied. So, out here, I explain the whole part in Hindi. Okay. Next video on STP is what is grey water and black water? Again, a very very important video. So, out here. First of all, again the theory part. Then in this video, I have talked about the grey water. I have talked about the black water. I have talked about what is siphoning effect and why do we need sealing? See, in commodes we have got seals like this, U seals. Why are they required? Why are they important on board ship? Why is there? A, why do we get the dirty smell in hospitals? What do we need to do then? So everything has been discussed over here. What is black water, grey water? Again, I'm telling one of the most important videos for STP system out here. So out here, it's complete theory in this video, a long video, but an important one. And then lastly, we are carrying out STP testing, sewage treatment plant. The chemical chlorine testing is carried out of the effluent which is going overboard. This is the STP testing being carried out. So the whole process has been explained. And no matter how many ships I have seen. 95% the STP testing procedure remains the same. Copy it, guys. Let's move ahead. From STP, I go to chemical handlings on ship. Now, in this chemical handling, guys, I am not going to show you the video, but introduction to chemical handling. Let us understand chemicals on board ship. What is their use? Why are they given? Fuel oil additives. Very very important video, guys. Out here, I am discussing all in theory. Ki why are fuel oil additives used? Where are they used? What is the importance? On board one of my ship, this fuel oil additives played a very important important role because we had very bad bunkers and we needed them. Then, what are machinery use chemicals? What are general use chemicals? What are toilet cleaning chemicals? Very important. How and then we are in the last we are taking a chemical locker room round that I'll just give you a view of. So out here we are taking a round of chemical locker room. We are seeing why are the how are chemicals segregated? What all safety precautions that we need to take? Everything is being discussed in this video. So this is the chemical locker room that you can see over here, and uh, so the chemicals are properly labeled that they are neutral chemicals or acidic chemicals or basic chemicals. MSDS sheet is kept over there so that people can avail the sheet and see which chemical is how harmful. So all these things are over here. Next, let's come to air conditioning system. 
सो एन एयर कंडीशनिंग सिस्टम द कंप्लीट थ्योरी गाइज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू गो टू द ड्रीमर्स पैकेज वॉच दो दैट ए सी सिस्टम थ्योरी दैट आई टॉट यू वर्ड दर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नो मैटर योर फोर्थ इंजीनियर और सेकेंड इंजीनियर दैट थ्योरी इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड देन लेट एस कम ओवर हेयर सो दिस इज द ए सी सिस्टम थ्योरी बिंग एक्सप्लेन विच इज शिप स्पेसिफिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इन दिस आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग द सिस्टम ले आउट देन द कूलिंग हाउ डज कूलिंग टेक प्लेस ऑन बोर्ड शिप हाउ इफ यू इफ आर शिप इज इन अ वेरी हॉट क्लाइमेट हाउ डू वी हीट द कैबिन्स हाउ डज हीटिंग टेक प्लेस वॉट इज अूमिडिफायर एवरी थिंग इज एक्सप्लेन आउट हेयर कॉपेड इन दिस वेडियो इट्स अ थ्योरी पार्ट देन वी टेक अ ए सी सिस्टम डिटेल्ड अगेन आफ्टर थ्योरी आफ्टर एक्सप्लेन द रीजन द लॉजिक द वाई आई हैव टेकन यू टू अ डिटेल्ड इंजन रूम राउंड टू अ डिटेल्ड ए सी सिस्टम राउंड and this is where i am so this i have opened up the section to show you what a compressor looks like what a condenser looks like what a ac panel looks like how from where are we taking the pressure intake from where are we taking the recirculation let everything has been discussed so what are these controllers for okay so this is the pressure intake this is this sensor is telling us how much is the pressure temperature everything i am discussing out here so out here i am discussing about the suction and discharge pressure gauges fitted how are the low pressure cutouts and high pressure cutouts working over here that is being discussed over here so basically complete ac system theory that i have explained earlier is being discussed in this video out here now next ac system heating humidification explained engine room round let's see so out here guys again the heating part live engine room round is being shown over here suppose you are in canada temperature is minus 20 degree centigrade outside how do you heat your cabins that is through steam heating what is humidity stat there for that is being explained in this video out here so this is the steam heating line and i'm trying to explain how does a steam heating line go into the ec system and how does it heat the accommodation that is what is being discussed over here so these are the controllers fitted so this is the ahu section air handling unit section the steam is going and returning back and where is the humidification steam going why is it required how much is required how it is controlled that all has been discussed in this video now one of this this was one of the best videos because even i learned this thing new and that was how does a humidity stat work i never knew because humidity plays a very important role i know that but how does a humidity stat work i never knew that this is the humidity stat guys i never knew that humidity stat works on human hair so when i opened this up i saw that there are human hair fitted inside a humidity stat these are human hair guys human stand now how does this work using human hair you have to watch this video copy it next again wet bulb dry bulb all these are very important how do you calculate dew point so this video had already been uploaded on youtube if you want to go watch there or else i am taking you to live on board ship where i am going to see how do you measure the dry bulb and wet bulb temperatures and how do you calculate the dew point and humidity everything so this has been explained in this video this is how a, a hygrometer works that has been discussed over here how much is the humidity everything has been discussed over here copy it guys come to the next part after ac unit and that is compressed air system wow so first of all the complete compressed air system theory is explained in this video so the complete compressed air system theory is explained in the, the role of main air bottle the pressure transmitters the pressure switches how does a main air compressor cut off start stop what other kind of compressors are there like deck air compressor emergency air compressor so every even control air compressor how do they work why are these pressure switches required why are these pressure transmitters required so in this the complete theory has been explained in this video guys okay next comes the video on compressed air system automation so out here the same video the same theory part but out here i have segregated into second part that is after introduction how does a main air compressor cut in and cut off automatically when the air bottle pressure is reached to the designed value the compressor cuts off when it reduces it starts again why is it happening that has been discussed in detail in this video so the automation part guys again i give a lot of importance to automation because it is very important and that has been covered in all these videos on primarily basis next is where is compressor used again through the same uh, engine room round video that is the line diagram i am trying to explain where all the compressed air is used it is used on deck it is used for control air it is used for hypermes for incinerator for hydro for for control air dryer for anywhere for generator starting for main engine starting for engine room service line why how where are the pressure reducing valves fitted why are they fitted each and everything has been discussed in detail over here let's take a complete compressed air system 
engine room round. So out here I am taking a round of the compressed air system and explaining each and every part that we have discussed earlier in the videos through those line diagrams guys. So I am trying to show that these are the pressure reducing walls, these are the line filters fitted, this is the 4K line, over here you can see the air bottles fitted, okay these are huge air bottles fitted over here. This is the main air compressor control panel fitted over here. So then I take you near to the control air section that is the main air control, main starting air wall. How does it work? It works on control air so that has been discussed over here as well. So again, not just stopping there, part 2, part 3, all are for the same thing that is engine room round explaining the compressor system. After that main air compressor theory guys, another very important video, you need to watch this. Guys, why is very important? Each and every video I tell that. So that is why whatever I explained in engine room round, I have again taken it back to the theory part. So out here I am explaining the main air compressor in detail. What is an unloader, why is it used, how is the lubrication carried out, what are oil and water separators, what is an intercooler, what is an aftercooler. First of all I am showing in the theory part out here, where are the safety valves fitted, what are their uh, lifting values, why are they used over there, at what reason are the safety valves going to lift. How is the lube oil pump pressure developed? Where is the lube oil pressure switch fitted? Where is the pressure gauge fitted? First of all, the theory part and then theory part 2 because this was a long video. And then I take you for a round. So this is the round happening guys. So this is whatever theory I have explained earlier out here. I am going to show you those practical things out here. Ki where this air is going and how it is moving and where it is going. Everything. The theoretical part with live engine room round. Copy it guys. And lastly, you have a compressor overhauling. This video recently I have shared it on YouTube guys. You can watch it there as well. Why are we doing that? That has also been discussed. Please watch the video and learn something new. So this is the piston moving inside a compressor that has been discussed over here. So in this and compressor is overhauled or opened up and we are overhauling the walls and everything. So that has been discussed in this video. Let's move ahead. Incinerator last but not the least. So first of all, the basic description of incinerator is over here. Why is an incinerator required? What is the use? What is an incinerator waste oil tank? How does an incinerator run? How do we burn sludge? This theory, how do we transfer sludge from purified sludge tank, oily bilge tank into incinerator waste oil tank? Everything has been discussed in this video. How does an incinerator burn sludge? What is an incinerator main control panel? <laughs> Everything is covered in this video. Moving to the second video, in this video we are discussing the incinerator each and every part in detail. So out here I am going to show you the refractory, I am going to show you the main burner, I am going to show you the pilot burner, everything out here. So that is how it works. So how does a pilot burner work? That has also been discussed guys over here. How does a main burner work? See, this is an automation part, so how does a pilot burner work? Wow, this is awesome. So this is how a spark is generated by a 10,000 volt between two electrodes. That has been shown over here, awesome. So, again, this is the incinerator main control panel. What all alarms are there? How does an incinerator start? How does an incinerator fire? That has been covered in this video over here. Now, next is incinerator internal round. So in this video, I go inside the incinerator to show you how does an incinerator look from inside. How do we take care of refractory? What do we need to do with the refractory? How do we need to clean the refractory? How does the burner and pilot burner look from inside? That has been discussed in this video. So this is, I'm inside the refractory guys, I'm inside the incinerator. So this is where I'm, I'm showing you how does a flame eye looks like, how does a main burner look like, how does a pilot burner look like from inside. What all safety precautions we need to take care of. Each and everything has been discussed in detail out here. This is the side glass from where we see that the incinerator is firing or not. Lastly, we are firing the incinerator on diesel oil and we are trying out the incinerator alarms and traps. So that has also been discussed in detail. You will see it over here. So right now the incinerator is firing and we are going to try out different different alarms like exhaust gas high temperature trip, flame eye failure trip. So incinerator alarms and trips. This is the last and one of the most important videos where incinerator exhaust gas high temperature trip, incinerator furnace temperature high temperature trip and flame eye trip have been tried out. You can see that the incinerator firing right now, right? And when we take out the flame eye and as soon as we cover the flame eye with our hands, the flame eye doesn't sense flame and it immediately cuts off the incinerator. You will see this live right now. See, immediately the incinerator cuts off and an alarm comes. So this is one of the three trips that have been covered in this video. 
please do watch this video and you'll enjoy and learn a lot of things before joining ship so guys all i can say is lots and lots of videos have been made lots and lots of efforts have been made but they'll only pay off if you'll make your own notes you'll understand you'll ask a lot of questions to yourself and others as well so if you've liked the video and you want to know more about visionary package what kind of videos are available go through the playlist available out here in which you'll find all the videos regarding visionary package go through them and decide make your career bright jai mata di